Hey everyone, it's Ed from Talk Android, and today I'm going to bring you a brief overview of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean as it's running on my Nexus 7 tablet. It has a bunch of cool new features and runs buttery smooth. Let's have a look. Now, I've already started customizing my home screens, and as you can see here, there's a music widget that actually shows pulls music from my Google Music account. Cool. What's even cooler is this recommendation widget right underneath that actually knows my music and gives me recommendations of stuff I might like. And look, up here I've got Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, and what's down here? The Who. Three of my favorite bands. Amazing. That's just really cool. Now, I'm going to show you how to add widgets and, and icons to your home screens, and it's just as simple as it was on Ice Cream Sandwich. All you have to do is open up your app drawer, and select a, an icon or widget, tap and hold it, and just drop it. Great. Easy, right? But, oh, I just noticed I have the gallery icon already there, so I don't need it. So all I have to do to get rid of it is flick it away. Simple. No longer do I have to drag all the way up to the remove link at the top. That's just great. Now let's look at placing widgets. Before, a widget could only be placed on an empty space in a home screen. Well, with Jelly Bean, things got a little more interesting. So let's go to widgets. I'm going to look for the calendar widget, and I want to put that on my home screen. So I'm going to click and hold, and look at this. It actually, all the icons move around and make room for the widget. That is brilliant. Now I drop it, and there it is. Perfect. Now also, if a widget is too big, it can auto resize itself to fit into a space you want. So for example, here I have in this column on the right, I have my bookmarks widget. Now let's say I want to place it in this space over here. Well, that's a lot smaller than this column, but let's try it. So I'm going to drag it into that space and let go. Boom. It resized itself and it fit just perfect. Now, another great feature of Jelly Bean is what's called Google Now, Google's new smart assistant. You drag up from the bezel towards the middle and it launches the Google Now UI. Uh, it's basically a smart assistant that can answer questions and, and provide information for you. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of de uh, any detail in this video since we have another post that goes in depth. But let's, uh, all I have to say is it's pretty slick. So another Jelly Bean upgrade is the notification bar. So you, you drag this down and you see the notifications. Now what you can do here is actually see more information and actions right in the notification bar. You can expand and collapse different notifications and just swipe to remove them. And it's great. And even at the bottom here, it shows your Wi-Fi SSID. Nice touch. One last thing I want to mention is that the Chrome browser is now out of beta and baked into Jelly Bean as the default browser. And along with that comes being able to open tabs from all your other devices that run Chrome. So here's a list of all my other computers and all the tabs I have open in them. That is total integration. Perfect. This has been a quick look at some of the features of Jelly Bean. There's a lot more to see here, and we look forward to diving in deeper and uncovering other goodies for you. Thanks for watching.